So I'd like to tell you how tech works. First of all, tech is a group process. Tech groups are made up of up to 16 members, each member a CEO, president, or business owner. We make up our groups very carefully. No significant supplier relationships, no competitive relationships. We want to create a forum where people can really talk about anything they want to talk about in their group and, and, and not have to worry about anything coming back to haunt them. So we meet every month, we spend a day together. There are two parts to that day-long meeting. The first part is, is a resource speaker portion of the meeting. And groups will spend time each year talking about the kinds of topics they would like to have input on to help them become better leaders, to help them deal with whatever challenges they're dealing with. So groups will say we want speakers around the area of strategy or leadership development or work-life balance or, or, or some aspect of marketing. And then tech provides those speakers. It's not just any speaker. It's not someone who's going to come in and lecture the group. It's someone who will come in and lead a workshop. Typically these people are established practitioners who can come in and deliver real value, real takeaway value to the members. They give them ideas, insight that they can actually take into their organization and utilize very quickly. That's a key part of it, the resource speaker portion. The other portion of the meeting is the executive session. And that's when the members bring their issues, their opportunities, their challenges, whatever they're wrestling with, and they put them on the table in front of their peer group, in front of the other CEOs and presidents and business owners in their group. It's a very powerful part of the process. And that part of the, the day is facilitated by a chairman who's a trained business professional who's trained to facilitate that kind of a process so that everybody gets value from the process. Another key piece of the tech process is something called a one-to-one. -one. And that's where the chairman comes around and spends an hour and a half or two hours with each member once a month. It can look a little bit like executive coaching, but what it's really focused on is helping get clear on what that member needs to do in order to achieve their goals. So it's to really help the chairman and the member work together to figure out where the most value is going to come out of the tech process. Another key part of the, the tech process is the fact that there are 15,000 members out there. Tech is not per se a networking organization. There is a reality to this organization. There are 15,000 members in 16 countries and tech members take time for each other. So you can access the network and ask them questions. Talk to people in other parts of the world who are in a similar business to yours. It can be very rich and it, it, it can really be a place where you can, get, you can gain a lot of ideas and a lot of insights. So a third piece of the tech process is really involves the tech website. The tech website is, is many things. First of all, it's a repository of best practices. It'd be, it could be book summaries, it could be articles by speakers, it could be actual speaker talks or videos of speakers talking about a particular aspect of, of leadership or management or business. Very valuable stuff. A lot of members, when they're facing a, a challenge, a, a new area that they're trying to get their arms around, will go to the tech, tech website and download the best practices file. It's a huge, huge resource. Those are the three key elements of the tech process. But I, I don't want people to think that tech is an event. It's not a day-long day meeting once a month that you're committing to. When people get involved in tech, they're, they're joining a group and they're there for each other. And if that means that between meetings, someone wants to phone another member, ask a question, if it means that a member has a crisis or a challenge or something comes up, then we'll get a group of people together, group of members together, and help them deal with that challenge. So it's like we're, it, we're on this journey together. And most tech groups, almost all tech groups, all the tech groups that I know are operated that way. They're people on a journey together.